spiral as uh, DeBoer will take this one at the 45. Hit right away, stays on his feet, but uh, doesn't get much. So the Pirates in great field position. They hold the Bulldogs defensively, and Paulson will have the ball for the first time tonight, first and 10 at the Bulldog 43-yard line. Jason Yates with nice coverage downfield immediately when DeBoer caught the football, made the tackle right away. So the Paulson Pirates immediately, though, even with no return, in good field position starting out on Whitefish's 44-yard line. Good to quarterback. Good weighs about 205 pounds, a big guy at about 6'3". Split back formation for the Pirates, and Good wants to keep them himself. He'll get about two and a half yards on the play down near the 40-yard line. Brings up uh, Cole in the backfield. Uh, split backs for the Pirates. Split on the near side will be Clay Bird, a 165-pound senior. So Cole and DeVore in the backfield, and Good the quarterback with a second down and a long six. Good looking to throw for the first time in the ball game, And this one over the middle. It's caught for a first down. Aaron Sloan, the, uh, or check that, Forrest Wright on the reception to pick up close to eight yards on the play, and that'll be a first down for the Pirates inside the Bulldogs' uh, 35. They're going to mark this one around the 32-yard line. Very nice timing pass play that time for the Paulson Pirates. Good, just uh, kind of slowly drop back about five yards, threw the ball to a spot, and the receiver caught the ball first down for the Pirates. Yeah, Wright averages about 11 yards per catch as he uh, got enough for a first down that time. First and 10 for the Pirates. Good. Wants to throw again. Steps back in the pocket. A big rush. Good. Gets away, and he'll bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Might have got a yard out of the play up over the 30 down at the 29-yard line. So the Pirates make something out of nothing and come up with a second down and nine. They do because Good really was completely surrounded by about three or four Whitefish Bulldogs. And from up here, it looked like he just ducked underneath and was able to get the ball upfield for a two-yard game. So second and eight now for the Pirates. Ball marked right at the Bulldog 30-yard line. No score just underway. 8-11 to go in the first quarter. Sloan split on the near side. Split back formation for the Pirates. Good. Looking to throw again. Steps back in the pocket over the middle. Tap. And almost intercepted. Knocked down. And that's going to bring up a third down and long situation. And that was the key there. The Bulldogs defensively need to get a little pressure on Good. And that time able to get a hand on the football. Brent Weeks was the uh, Bulldog defensive uh, player who had has got his hand on the ball. So third down and eight, the ball at the Bulldog 30, no score. The Pirates trying to get something together here as they split Sloan way out on the near side. Split back formation for the Pirates and look for Good to throw again. Good steps back in the pocket, two-step drop, and this one incomplete. Trying to throw it over the middle and falls short of right, the intended receiver. So now a fourth down situation for the Pirates. Pirates that time tried to sneak it right over the linebacker and underneath the safety. The pass was just a little bit short by Good. Otherwise, uh, they had the proper yardage to pick up the first down. As you mentioned, though, fourth down now and eight to go with Paulson going for it from the 30-yard line. Sloan now split way out on the near side. Split back formation. DeVoe, DeVore and Cole in the backfield. Fourth down, and now the Pirates going for it. Good. A lot of time back in the pocket. Now here comes the pressure. Gets the throw off, and this one falls incomplete. So defensively, the Bulldogs hold. Sam Cox fired up in the backfield, and Whitefish will take over on down. Good had a lot of pressure in the backfield. Nobody went to the right spot. I guess you could say as Connor came up with an incompletion. But they with a... Terrible punt. This one's going to bounce out of bounds at about the 22-yard uh, line. So the Pirates now will get the ball for the second time tonight. They'll have it first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Both defenses so far tonight, you know, giving up a first down here and there, but really not giving up the big play or really looking too badly and letting any offensive unit getting anything going for a period of time here. Well, I tell you what, when you got a, a kid like, um, uh, like DeVore, one of the best uh, punt returners in the league. You really don't want to let him get his hands on the football. So even though that, that punt didn't go that far, it went out of bounds and kept it out of the hands of DeBoer. So, I mean, if you think of it that way, uh, not a bad punt by uh, Bethay. So first and 10 for the Pirates. Good with a split back formation. Good. Up over the middle and nothing there is uh, Paulson just trying to go right into the heart of the Bulldog defense. Going to bring up a second down and eight. For the Pirates. I think both teams have a lot of confidence in their defensive units because offensively, really nothing real fancy. Both teams have put the ball up in the, up in the air, but uh, no real risky pass plays yet. Four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Pirates now with a second down and seven. They have the ball marked at their own 25-yard line. Split back formation is good. Sets up over center. Good on the option. Hit the line of scrimmage. Might have got a yard on the play. But uh, Mike Eckley coming in to make the tackle for the Bulldogs to stop good from doing any damage on the Bulldog defense. Mike Eckley came up, made a nice tackle after Bridger Kelt just 
hit good right at the line of scrimmage and stopped him right in his tracks. It's going to bring up a third down and five. The Pirates get it up near the 27-yard uh, line. They need to get it up near the 33 for a first down. Split back formation, both DeVore and Cole in the backfield for the Pirates. Good with a long count, steps back in the pocket. Over the middle, this one intercepted by the Bulldogs. Return all the way back to the 22-yard line, but uh, boy, what a play coming in there is uh, Garth Boxich to get the interception on the tap, and Whitefish now with their best field position of the ball game will have it first and 10 at the Polson 22-yard line. Very nice interception by the sophomore Garth Boxich because I believe, and there's a penalty marker down on the field too. I don't know what that's going to be. It's going to be a clip on the run back is what it looks like, but getting back to the interception, Boxich takes a bounce of the 20 rolling inside and the Bulldogs trying to touch this one down and they will right at the one yard line I so the Pirates will have it first and ten deep in their own territory at the one yard line I actually think, right at the goal line yeah as I was going to say I think that's about the one inch yard line but uh, nice punt by Bethe because it hit on the 15 yard line took a big bounce to where it just kind of rolled toward the goal line and then when it got down on the goal line Sam Cox was down there and it just kind of died for him. He tapped it, and it never did go into the end zone. So good strategy that time by head coach Mike Furter to punt the ball away and pin Polson as deep as you can be pinned in your own territory. That's about a 37-and-a-half-yard punt by Bethea, and they took it right to the goal line. So Polson back deep and uh, good. And this one off to uh, DeVore, and he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage, and it looks like, yes, a fumble, and the Bulldogs recover the end zone. Whitefish touchdown. Well, that's... That's a seven-point punt by Gary Bethea because uh, DeVore was hit at the line of scrimmage. I was going to say they almost had him for a safety, and then all of a sudden the official's hands went up in the air and signaled a touchdown. So uh, must have been a fumble in the end zone, and the Bulldogs pick it right up for a quick seven-six points. So Whitefish now takes the early lead with a minute 17 to go in the first quarter, six to zip, and they will send in uh, Jason Prevost, the kid out of Alaska, to kick the extra point. And it looks like with the uh, with the fumble recovery for the Bulldogs, it was uh, Jeremiah's. I don't think the handoff was ever made between Good and DeVore, the ball carrier, because DeVore looked like he was stood straight up, and I think the ball was already on the ground at that point. The Bulldogs now with three backs in the backfield. Brady Connor, handoff goes to Ockenreiter, and he is in for the specialty teams for the Whitefish Bulldogs to grab an 8 to nothing lead. Back to receive for the Pirates is Sloan along with... Uh, along with DeMoor, and kicking it off for the Whitefish Bulldogs will be Earl Nevins. And Whitefish on top now, early, eight to zip. End over end, short kick. This one will be taken at the 25 by DeVore. DeVore up over the 30, finally taken down his troops together and see if he can get back in this ball game. Nice return by DeVore that time. He actually had to come on a dead run to catch that short kickoff. Almost had to leap forward to catch it, and uh, his momentum carried him forward right out to about the 35-yard line. So good field position for the third possession of the evening for the Polson Pirates. Forrest Wright split way out on the near side, and the slot is uh, Sloan. Split back formation, both DeVore and Cole in the backfield. Good the quarterback, back in the pocket. He's got a lot of time, gets the pass off this one. Overthrown intended for uh, DeVore out of the backfield. Little too high and out of play around the... Uh, 50-yard line, so it's going to bring up a second down and 10 is good right now. Just having a tough time getting the ball into the hands of his receivers. Yeah, good. When he drops back, I'll tell you what, he looks very confident as a passer at the high school level. Really gives his receivers time to run the route and uh, put the ball right, right on the spot that time. Just a, maybe a little bit overthrown. Yeah, good. Thrown for uh, 667 yards uh, so far this season. He's ranked number one in the Western A, and he's going to try to throw it again. Two-step drop, and this one... Is... Almost made the catch, but once again, Garth Boxich from his safety position almost picked up another I interception at the same point on the opposite side of the field on the tip. Brings up a third down and ten. The Pirates have it at their own 35-yard line. The Bulldogs on top, eight to zip. Sloan split way out on the near side with a split back formation. Good. Wants to throw again. This one in and out of the hands of Sloan. The pass was there, but Sloan, I think, was looking at Prevos coming at him defensively and said, no, I don't want any part of this football. Yeah, the Whitefish uh, defensive backfield been hitting hard early in the game here, and I think the receiver, the Polson Pirates, because the passes are basically been right there, but a uh, couple times now the Polson Pirates have let that ball go right through their hands, and it's not that cold yet, so we're not going to blame it on the weather. 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. Bulldogs on top, eight to zip. And uh, Good will punt this thing away. High snap. 
Little rush, good gets off and in over in front. This one takes a bounce at the 35, and the Bulldogs will let it roll inside the 20 and finally touch down at the 19-yard line. Uh, Miss Hay gets off a high, short punt. This one takes a bounce and a good pulse and roll finally tapped out of bounds at about the 41-yard line. So the Pirates with a first and 10 at the Bulldog 41, and we're just underway in the second quarter. 10.42 to go in the first half. Dogs on top, 8 to zip on a fumble recovery by Jason Yates in the end zone with a minute 17 to go in the first. And then uh, the Bulldogs uh, went for two. Auchenreiter uh, took it into the end zone for the two points, and the Dogs lead this one 8 to zip. Well, they're going to bring this up just a little bit. They're going to mark it at the 43-yard line. So Polson with the first and 10, good with a split-back formation. Both Cole and DeVore in the backfield. Good, wants to throw again. Has a lot of time looking downfield. This one is caught at the 29-yard line. A pickup of close to 13 on the play and a first down reception for the Polson Pirates. Aaron Sloan, the receiver on the play at that time, and actually there were two Polson Pirates right in that spot, both open, but uh, Sloan uh, jumped in front and took the reception first down inside the 30-yard line for the Polson Pirates. It's kind of one of those screen plays that, you know, I mean, it's not meant to be a screen, but if it works out that way, boy, you get some good yardage. So be it. Yeah. First down and 10. The Pirates now driving inside Bulldog territory at the Whitefish 29-yard line. Good. Looking to throw again. Rolling to his right. And this one almost intercepted. But the pass is complete. Near the 22-yard line. Coming in there to make the catch was uh, Forrest Wright. Went right through the hands of Mark Ockenreiter. As you mentioned, Magic almost intercepted. And uh, then Wright was right there to kind of roll on the ground and make the reception. Picking up about six yards on the play. Second and four. Coming up with uh, Post immediately now threatening offensively. We're going to mark this at the 23-yard line. You know, the Pirates uh, put together a pretty good ball game last weekend against Stevensville and ripped the Yellow Jackets 30-6. to six, So they can put some points on the board. Sawyer now split way out on the near side. Split back formation for the Pirates. Second down and a long four. And this time they go to DeVore, and he's got a hole. First down yardage up near the 15. They're going to mark this one close to the 17-yard line. But uh, DeVore with his biggest run of the ball game and gives the Pirates a first and 10. Quick acceleration that time by DeVore just right off the left offensive tackle. And uh, the Whitefish Bulldog is going to call timeout and talk about it here defensively. So with uh, 9.34 to go in the first half, Bulldogs on top, 8 to zip. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Chalet City Pharmacy and Whitefish split on the far side for the Pirates. Wright split on the near side, and uh, going in mo motion is called. The lone setback is DeVore. DeVore hit in the backfield, scrambles his way to the line of scrimmage. Nothing there as the Bulldogs come up big defensively, and that brings up a second down and nine for the Polson Pirates. Adrian Stolt, uh, Strauss and Bridger Kelch that time teaming up to make the play right at the line of the scrimmage, so a good timeout it looks like so far for the Whitefish Bulldogs their first uh, negative yardage play on this drive for the Polson Pirates. Actually, they're going to lose about a half a yard. Brings up a second down and a long 10 for the Pirates. Ball marked at the Bulldogs. 17-yard line. Split back formation for the Polson. Cole and DeVore in the backfield. And good. Steps back in the pocket looking to throw. He's got a lot of time. Here comes the rush. Good hit. Stays on his feet. Now he's going to have to run for it. Up near the 10, finally knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line, but boy, good. Hit in the backfield, able to escape the rush and make some uh, positive yardage. Picks up close to, what, eight yards on the play? Yeah, right down to where it's going to be about a yard and a half, two yards short of the first down. Bridger Kelch all but had good wrapped up about back at the 28-yard line, but Good was able to get away, and once he got away, it was all open down the right-hand side, and he just angled down there. Let's call it about third and four to go right now. Well, you know, uh, good. A big kid at uh, 205 pounds. So, I mean, that's not a little quarterback in the backfield. He's able to take a few shots. So third and four. The ball marked to the Bulldog 10-yard line. Bird split way out on the near side. And uh, Cole going in motion. And good. Hands this one off to DeVore. He's going to be close to a first down. Let's see where they mark the football. I don't believe he picked it up, but, uh, you know, in high school play, you're in four-down territory right here, so it's going to bring up a fourth down and about two yards to go right at the start here, 7.51 to go in the second period of play. Paulson Pirates are going to take a timeout and talk about it. Well, they got Nistler, the, uh, the field goal kicker for the Pirates, and he is good from a good percentage from about 27 yards out. And now the Bulldog defense will come to the... Good now. We'll run out of a split-back formation with both Cole and DeVore in the backfield. Sawyer split on the near side. Good with a quick snap. Rolling to his right. And no oh, check that. Goes straight up the middle. A good uh, a good fake by Good. Looks like first the Pirates down yardage, might have first down yardage. 
they had me all messed up. I was following good to the right-hand yep. side. And the Pirates run for first down yardage. They get it inside the five at the four-yard line. So a first and goal situation for the Polson Pirates. Well, they didn't pick it up by a whole lot. But, you know, you don't have to pick it up by a whole lot. You just have to get it. And uh, the Pirates ran a naked play that time to the left-hand side and it picked up first down yardage. Slow now split on the far side. First and goal to goal. The ball marked uh, at the five-yard line. I formation now for the Pirates. Good. Sets up over center. Long count. And good. Looking to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's going to have to tuck it in. Dives for the end zone. And he's in for the score. Good from five yards out. Able to dive into the end zone. And the Pirates are on the board. It's now eight to six. Good. Just went rolling out to his right. Looked for a receiver for a long period of time. Nobody opened up. So he dashed up and uh, made the five yards for a touchdown. Eight to six now. The Whitefish Bulldogs. So a 7-13 to go in the first half. Let's see if the Pirates elect to go for one or two. Nistler, the uh, extra point kicker for the Pirates, and Polson will go for two on this play and try to tie the ball game up. Split back formation. Good wants to throw for two. Here comes the rush. Good hit in the backfield. Gets the throw off. Incomplete. Two point, two point conversion. Falls short <laughs> in the yard line, and Nistler will kick this one away. A nice high end over end kick. And Prevost takes it at the 5, 10. He's up near the 20, 25. Prevost has a big hole. He's got some speed up near the 40. What a run back by Prevost. The Bulldogs will have it first and 10 at the 40-yard line. Nothing fancy. Prevost just waited for the ball to come down. Very nice high end over end kickoff. And uh, Prevost received it down about his 5-yard line. Had about 4 or 5 dogs right in front of him. For the 177-pound senior, he'll set up at uh, his 20-yard line. And Bethay will have to punt this thing away once again. Good snap, big rush, short, high kick. And DeBoer will let this one bounce at the 30. Takes a bulldog roll, and Whitefish will touch it down at the 26-yard line. So Polson, Sawyer split on the near side. Split back formation for Polson. Todd Good, the quarterback, back in the pocket. Deep drop, looking over the middle, and this one is intercepted by Achenreiter. He'll bring it up to the 30-yard line. The third turnover of the ball game, and the second interception thrown by Good. Another one of those passes where it looked like it almost went right through the hands of the... Uh well, Whitefish going to use the same theory here, deep in their own territory. They're still going to punt it away, really try and pin uh, the Pirates deep here. So, but they will punt this thing at the 45-yard line. DeBoer back to receive. Just a little squibble punt. This one takes a bounce. Rolls down near the 15, finally touched down at the 14-yard line. So, but they not able to get very much on the punt. And Polson really not in that big of trouble. But uh, they'll start this drive inside the 15 at the 14 with 2.59 to go in the first half. Bulldogs on top by two, eight to six. Another important ball game going on. Uh, year had uh, a victory against these same Polson Pirates. Sawyer split on the near side. On the far side is uh, Sloan and good. Hand off. This goes to DeVore, and he'll be hit right at the line of scrimmage. Not there as the Bulldogs hold defensively, and that'll bring up a second down and ten for the Pirates. The ball marked 14-yard line. Whitefish trying to get the football back before the end of the first half. If they can hold the Pirates here, they'll have a pretty good chance at a, at a score. But, uh, boy, both offense is really struggling so far in the first half. I think the Bulldogs took a timeout right there. And trying to Pirates now with a second down and nine. The ball marked just inside the 15-yard line at the Polson 15. And Todd Good with a split back formation. Good. And this time goes to DeVore, and he's got a big hole. DeVore into the secondary, up over the 25, finally taken down near the 30-yard line. What a run by DeVore as he found a huge hole through the middle. Yeah, he did. Nothing fancy that time, just straight ahead running by DeVore, and uh, the hole was right there at the line of scrimmage. He popped through it, got the ball all the way out past, well, let's call it right at the 30-yard line. So the clock will continue to run with uh, two minutes to go in the first half. First and 10 at the Pirates' 30-yard line. Sawyer now split on the near side, split back formation, both Cole and DeBoer in the backfield. And now Good will hand off once again. This one goes to Cole, and he's got about 10 yards. Finally drug down at the 41-yard line, another first down for the Pirates, and that time Cole, same, uh, same hole, found another one. Pirates now with the first and 10, and the Bulldogs trying to get uh, a player off defensively, and they do as, as Good goes with a long count. Looking to throw, this one out on the sideline falls incomplete. Intended for, it looks like, uh, right. And that's going to bring up a second down and 10 for the Pirates. So now Polson thinking maybe they have a chance to get a score here as they got uh, the ball out of uh, some negative territory and bring it up to the 43-yard, check that 44-yard line of their own uh, 
their own field. And they are the number one passing team offensively in Western A play so far this year. Once again, Sawyer split on the near side, split back formation for the Pirates. Good. Looking to throw again for Sawyer. It's caught at the midfield mark. Sawyer escapes a few tacklers, stays on his feet, gets it down near the 39-yard line. And that's all they're trying to do. Nothing fancy, just a quick slant to Sawyer and trying to let him get open and create. Obviously, Sawyer, a good open field runner that time after he caught the ball, picked up 10, 12 more yards, bringing it down inside the 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Pirates. A minute 20 to go in the first half. Good with a split back formation. Good, steps back in the pocket, looking to throw, and good is hit. Adrian Strauss out of his defensive tackle, and it looks like he fumbled the football, and the Bulldogs have got it. Boy, that just snuffed that drive. Bob oh. Good was, didn't really have any time. He was just back in the pocket, and all of a sudden, there was Adrian Strauss. He uh, not only got good, but he got good, good enough to create the fumble, and uh, the Bulldogs were able to fall on it and pick it up. We've got a minute and nine to go in the first half of play. A big turnover once again. Turnovers being the friend so far. That's uh, the, the fourth turnover against uh, the Pulson Pirates in this ball game. So the dogs now with a minute and nine to drive 40, 44 yards. They have it at their own 46 yard line. So shotgun. Out of the shotgun, Connor goes to Prevost. Prevost up to the midfield marker inside Pulson territory. They're gonna mark this at the 49 yard line. So the clock will run now. No, Actually, they didn't start the clock. It still stopped at a minute and nine. They want the clock to run here as uh, they didn't start the clock. It's stuck at a minute nine. So we're going to take a little time here and take some time off the clock. East of the 20, 25, hit at the 30 and knocked backwards to the 32-yard line. So the Pirates will have it first and 10 to open up the second half at their own 32-yard line. Always an important opening drive, the first possession. You know, you want to see whether... Defensively, you're still going to dominate. And near the end of the first half, offensively, the Pirates were able to put together a 43-yard drive and then move the ball a little bit after that before a turnover. So uh, big drive here coming up. Bird now split on the near side. Split backs in the backfield. Both DeBoer and Cole in the backfield. First and 10. First play of the second half. Good long count. Hand off DeBoer, and he's got a little hole. Gets it up near the 36-yard line. Gain a four on the play. Brings up a second down and six. Colson opening up with a conservative play, just a straight handoff to DeBoer off the left-hand side, and as you mentioned, able to pick up four or five yards on the play. Brings up a second down and five. They're going to mark this up over the 35 at the 36-yard line, so just underway in the second half, 11.02, Bulldogs on top by two. Right split on the near side, split back formation for the Pirates. Good handoff to DeVore, and he'll get up near the 39-yard uh, line. Gain of three on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down and a long two, just shy of the 40-yard line. Starting to cool off here, isn't it? Starting to cool off here, and, uh, you know, we, we're inside of this uh, press box, and actually, I think on nights like this, the cold air gets in here and kind of act like acts like a chess box instead of a press box. Well, I knew it was going to get cold. It's supposed to drop down about 25 tonight, so I, you, you know, your long johns wore on. my long johns tonight. Well, I can't call you stupid. Right split on the near side. Good handoff. This one goes to Cole, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage. He fumbled the football, and the Bulldogs have recovered. I'll tell you what, the, the Bulldogs have been an opportunistic team here, although that time the Polson Pirates did not have the necessary yardage needed to pick up a first down, so once again, the Whitefish defense getting the job done tonight, turning the ball over inside the 40, so...